What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like the video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and what's the numbers I have provided. Today, we're back into the profile piece. This one is on Hollow Man. In this video, we're going to talk about his early years coming up in Philly. Then we will look at his time as a rapper during the YouTube and DVD era, where Hollow Man was able to build a nice little buzz for himself in the city's underground rap scene. After that, we'll get into the details surrounding the case that got Hollow Man serving a life without parole sentence in the Philadelphia prison system. Hollow Man, real name Ronald Thomas, is from North Philly. Growing up in that section of the city would be crazy for a young Hollow Man as the area is plagued with drugs and gun violence. As a kid, he would take an interest in boxing and began going to local gyms to work on learning how to box. Eventually, he took the sport somewhat serious and would go on to have a nice amount of amateur fights in different tournaments and showcases around the city. Another talent that Hollow Man tapped into was his skill of rapping. At first, he really wasn't trying to be an MC, but after hanging around Cicero, who was a well-known rapper in the city, Hollow Man started to write down his own rhymes in hopes of making it on one of the many hip-hop DVDs that had taken over the streets of Philadelphia at the time. So now after talking about boxing and rapping and their position in Hollow Man's life, it's time to speak about the place that held most of Hollow Man's interest, and that was the streets. The streets of Philadelphia were Hollow Man's main focus for a majority of his young life, and he paid the price of that choice numerous times throughout his life. First in 2004 at the age of 19, Hollow Man would get locked up after going out of town to hustle. He would receive three to six years in that case and be released in 2007 back to the streets of Philly. From there, it was more of the same with the streets and rapping at the forefront of his life. He would record some classic freestyles on DVDs like Two Raw for the Streets and others with his teammate affiliates who had started to create a little buzz for themselves in the city. But for all the work Hollow Man was putting in on the rap side of things, he was putting in twice that amount of work in the streets. By 2009, he was now in his 20s and a hustler at heart, just trying to make some money to enjoy his life. The block was treating him good, as he had finally got up to his own brick of cocaine that he secured in one of his trap houses in the neighborhood. He finally reached a milestone in his street hustling career with the purchase of his own kilogram. 30 to 40,000 spent with thoughts of doubling up were now in Hollow Man's mind. But sadly, he left the back door open and got double crossed by people close to him. The story that would come out was that Hollow Man and Anwar Ashmore were both members of Team A in North Philly. Team A was looked at as a group of rappers and drug dealers that frequented the Strawberry Mansion section of the city as well as other areas. Hollow Man was one of the bigger names of the crew, being that he was one of the more well-known rappers out the bunch. So back to the story, it's Hollow Man's brick of cocaine that stashed when allegedly Anwar gains access to the stash house and steals the drugs. At first, Hollow Man didn't know who the culprit or culprits were, because in a song called Ear Bleed, Hollow Man raps about the stolen drugs and thinking it was someone around him who committed the treasonous act, although he wasn't sure who it could have been exactly. But something had to change from the winter of 2009 to the spring of 2010, because on April 22, 2010, Anwar Ashmore was gunned down near the corner of Stanley and Huntington Streets, allegedly in front of a handful of Team A members. Hollow Man was arrested days after the shooting and charged with murder and illegal gun possession. The case would take a few years to go to trial, but in 2013, Hollow Man would get found guilty on all charges and sentenced to life without parole. But that wouldn't be the end of the story for Hollow Man, because in 2017 he was granted an appeal after arguing that his rap lyrics were unfairly used against him in court. He would do a Philly Fame TV interview explaining what was going on with his case, as he had hopes of coming from a body that life sentence he was serving. It was looking like Hollow Man might get a second chance at freedom, but unfortunately for him, in September 2018, he would get found guilty again on all charges and was sentenced once again to life without parole in the Philadelphia prison system. This time it was looking over for Hollow Man, as the prosecutors didn't use his lyrics in a new trial and were still able to convict him. But then in 2020, one of the cops on Hollow Man's case will make the news for years of dirty police work. And with that, Hollow Man's lawyers were able to win another appeal and get the life sentence vacated with further court proceedings to take place. As of right now, Hollow Man is still in jail waiting a third trial as the state has decided to try him again on the murder instead of offering him a plea deal. What will the outcome be this time? I don't know. I guess we will just have to wait and see. 
But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. That was a quick profile piece on Hollow Man, real name Ronald Thomas. Now, if you know anything about Philly, you know there's two Hollow Mans. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the area of Hollow Man. This is the Team A Hollow Man that got locked up for the body, been serving all that time since. Now, you know, he was actually, I they both was nice, but Hollow Man, area F, super nice. Team A was actually nice. He had a little buzz, you know, was doing battles, freestyles, all that. Like, he had a buzz. People knew. It wasn't looked at as, like, the fake hollow man or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They both was nice at that time. And they both was creating a little buzz for themselves. But, you know, one ended up staying down the streets. The other ended up going to jail now. Now, the murder, as far as, like, the, the, the shooting over the drugs or whatever. Now, Anwar's pops, who knew all of them, he admitted that his son did actually steal the drugs from Hollow Man. Him, I think a couple other people, they actually did take the drugs from him, Hollow Man. Now, was that a reason for him to jump out the window and kill him in front of everybody? I don't know. That was his decision or allegedly his decision. We got convicted for that. But um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But according to the pops, he did steal the drugs from Hollow Man. Now, they saying that Hollow Man shot him in front of a bunch of Team A members. Like, it was basically some in-house shit that went down. So that's why it was easy for people to know who it was. And supposedly people went back and told the pops who it was that killed his son. And from there, everything went down. They were saying that um, Hollow Man went and bought like rest in peace shirts the next day after the murder. You know, even though people knew it was him that did it. So it was a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? You guys could put his name in on Google and type. Just put Ronald Thomas Philly. And you'll see a bunch of, um, a bunch of different articles on it. Now, he has a chance to come home right now. Being that he just got a new... A new trial. This is the third trial. He got a two appeals. I'm sentenced vacated twice. But the DA wants to try him again. Like, they want to take him a trial a third time. Instead of just, you know, saving the court system money, the state's money, thinking about, let me just offer him a plea deal. For some reason, I guess they feel like they got him. They got all the evidence that convicted him consistently. And they want to take him a trial one more time. So that's where he's at right now. He said he's left rap alone as he's a devout Muslim. And, um, you know, basically rapping and shunned upon in his religion, so he's not really rapping no more. I don't know if he ends up coming home, if he would get back into the rap, but right now he says he's just focusing on coming home, and um, you know, his religion is, is providing him an outlet to hopefully come home, so he don't want to rap, and you know, do anything to, you know, mess that up, I guess, and how he's feeling as far as like in his practice and his religion. So, like I said, man, this is what's the number TV. This is a quick profile piece on Ronald Thomas, A.K.A. Hollow Man, North Philly. You know what I'm saying? And um, subscribe to the channel. Maybe at 80,000 subscribers. You know, the live streams is going up. Make sure y'all chap in with that. Become a member of the channel. Follow the Instagram. What's number TV at um, on Instagram. Batty Bills on Instagram. If you need some promo, what's number TV at yahoo.com. And, you know, we'll be back before you know it, man. We out of here. Peace.